Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, and today for you guys, I have some Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information. So I know recently we've been talking a lot about rumors to do with Kingdom Hearts 3, and uh, of course these are things that, well, could be true, but then again, they might not necessarily be true. So uh, today for you guys, we've actually got some official information from Square Enix themselves over on their holdings website, and it is some stuff that I think most of you guys should be pretty happy with. So let's just jump straight into this. So very recently, Square Enix updated their holdings website talking about their plans for 2018, 2017, so on and so forth. Basically, a lot of this information is for investors who want to get involved with the company of Square Enix. Now, we actually talked about some of this holding information not too long ago, where Square Enix actually put up this slide right here saying that, of course, Kingdom Hearts 3, as well as the Final Fantasy VII Remake, is under the official year for 2018 and beyond. Now, this doesn't, of course, mean that Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Final Fantasy 7 Remake will be releasing in 2018, what it basically means is these games could release in 2018 or sometime after. Square Enix have since updated the information and they've given us quite a few different paragraphs talking towards their plans for what they're going to be doing in the future. This paragraph right here, as you guys can see on screen, gives us some really exciting information, especially looking towards Kingdom Hearts 3, so let us read it. It says right here, Neo Automata, which we released in February, was another earnest contributor, generating sales significantly above our plan. The slide shows our release lineup for FY 2017 as well as FY 2018 and beyond. We plan to launch each of these upcoming titles in the next three years or so. And of course, like we were saying, Kingdom Hearts 3 as well as the Final Fantasy 7 Remake falls under the 2018 and beyond category. And of course, from what Square Enix is saying right here, they plan to launch those titles within the next three years or so. So this pretty much lets us know that we will have Kingdom Hearts 3 by the latest of 2020. So this is really good. We actually now have an official sort of year bracket where we can sort of position Kingdom Hearts 3 in. The rumors as of right now are saying that Kingdom Hearts 3 will release in 2018. And I guess you could say that this news and information might actually support the rumors. It's pretty hilarious to think though, this is actually the closest we've ever been to a solid release date for Kingdom Hearts 3. Although, you know, looking at a whole span of three years, it is still quite a long time. And I'm just happy to know that I won't have 48 kids and 28 raccoons by the time Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. That's that's really the good thing here. But at least we know for sure now that Square Enix do plan to release Kingdom Hearts 3 within the next three years. Square Enix also have plans to launch one to two blockbuster titles per year, as well as multiple mid-sized titles as well. So, I mean, this could potentially mean that Kingdom Hearts 3, along with the Final Fantasy VII Remake, could actually launch at the same time if Square Enix are onto it. Although, looking at the news and information that we went over to do with Final Fantasy, Fantasy 7 uh, in yesterday's video, it looks pretty unlikely that Final Fantasy 7 will probably come out around the time of Kingdom Hearts 3. It seems to be that they're still in the early stages of development, and Square Enix said it themselves they are currently hiring as many people as they possibly can to get that project done. Have guys, that's all for today. I know today's video is slightly shorter than usual, uh, but I had to get this information out to you guys. It's some pretty important and quite exciting stuff. The really good thing to take from this is the fact that we are going to be getting Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, at the latest by 2020 as long as Square Enix sort of stick to their word. And yes, I know with the way that they've sort of worded it, they say three years or so. The so could potentially mean even more years after the three year uh, sort of bracket that they have going on. But let's just pretend for 10 seconds that the so doesn't exist. I'm still hoping at E3 that we do get a brand new trailer and within that trailer it shows us 2018. I think we've been waiting long enough now and that Square Enix have had plenty of time to sort of sit down, figure out what they're doing and get on with it. Within Tetsuya Nomura's comments, that he made in yesterday's video when we were going over the Final Fantasy 7 news, it's definitely apparent that I think he's come to realization that he can't spend years upon years working on simply just one game. And I think this is a really good learning curve for Square Enix because they are kind of known for keeping things in development for such a long period of time. Now guys, hopefully you've had a fantastic day. Let me know what you guys think about this news and information in the comment section down below. And until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.